it's time for Unit 7 on Campaigns and Elections. Now, I previewed this first film when I talked about George Clooney and how he seems to like making these political films. It doesn't get much more political than The Ides of March, starring George Clooney and Ryan Gosling. Now, this is a dark, dark film. It has some really mature themes. It's not particularly scary or anything, though. Still, it shows the kind of deals that are made during the primary process. All of the politics in this film take place within one political party. And there is brutal, cutthroat competition for endorsements from other leaders within that political party that we see play out in the film. You want a true story? Then you need, need to check out the film Primary Colors, starring John Travolta and a host of other A-list actors. Primary Colors is based on a book, which was based on Bill Clinton's run for the presidency. As it is mostly a true story, it's really like taking a peek behind the scenes of a real campaign. There are a couple comedies that are worth checking out, too. Bullworth is one of my personal favorite films of all time. This film not only takes you behind the scenes of a political campaign, but exposes deeper issues in the U.S. political system. Most importantly, campaign finance reform. It is also an exploration of what would happen if a moderate establishment politician suddenly had a change of heart and became a populist extremist. If you're looking for some pure, fun movies about elections, then check out The Campaign, starring Will Ferrell, and The Election, with Reese Witherspoon and Matthew Broderick. In summary, for this unit, we had The Odds of March, Primary Colors, Bullworth, The Campaign, and Election. In many ways, the next few units are going to mark a return to the basic elements of the Constitution. We'll be narrowing in very closely on the three branches of government, the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. In other words, the Congress and how laws are made, the presidency and the federal bureaucracy, and the Supreme Court and the judicial system. I'll be looking forward to seeing you there.